Up on in a hurry. Don't you look in the mirror? In the morning? Are you kidding? <laughs> I used to hate to look in the mirror in the morning, but I got over it. How? Well, now that I don't see so good anymore, I don't look so bad. <laughs> That's funny. I know what you mean. And now, ladies, our morning magazine of the air turns to the beauty page. You know, maybe our worries are over. Lady Cynthia is going to announce a new scientific beauty discovery today. And now, here is Lady Cynthia and her beauty tips. Good morning, ladies. How would you like to have your biggest beauty problem behind you? That's where mine is now. <laughs> this is the new beauty salon of Dr. Hugo Fleischer, the famous Viennese beautician. For only $25, Dr. Fleischer gives you a complete beauty treatment that makes you look years younger. He tests your skin with special vitamins and nutrients until he finds out exactly what you are deficient in. Oh, I know what we're deficient in. What? $25. <laughs> Gee, I'd love to try that Dr. Fleischer's treatment. Well, where are you going to get the $25? Well, uh, uh, Mr. Mooney will be here this morning. Mr. Mooney? Well, he's never refused to give me money for a doctor. Why, Lucille Carmichael. Well, at least it's the truth. It's about the least truth I ever heard. Oh, Mrs. Carmichael. Mr. Mooney, look, I'm going to tell him that I'm going to go to a doctor for a checkup. Viv, do I look run down? <laughs> How do I know? I never saw you at your peak. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good morning, Mr. Carmichael. Good morning, Mr. Mooney. I'm sorry I took so long answering the door, but I just don't seem to have any pep lately. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, in that case, I won't... Hold things up. I just dropped by to give you your weekly allowance check. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mooney. And will you please write me an extra check for $25? Now, Mrs. Carmichael, I've told you time and time again, I will give you no more money. But it's not for me, Mr. Mooney. Just make the check out to Dr. Hugo Fleischer. The doctor? Yes. Well, of course. Yes, indeed. I hope you're not ill. Oh, no, no. It's nothing serious. I've just been feeling a little run down lately. That's all. Well, you know what they say, uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Very sensible, very sensible. All right, boys, bring the camera right in here. We'll hide it in that alcove. Well, we're all set up, Dr. Fleischer. Are you sure this won't be bad for my business? Bad? <laughs> this will be the greatest publicity you ever had. Look, my television program, The Boiling Point, has millions of viewers. Million? Sure. <laughs> And this week on Boiling Point, we're going to show just how much abuse the average woman will take for the sake of beauty without losing her temper, you see? But if she loses her temper, I lose a customer. No. Oh, oh, of course not. American women are great sports. Sure. And once we tell them they're on television, they go along with the gang. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. here comes our first pigeon. Uh, go get him. Right. Okay, fellas, get that camera in there, huh? Now, doctor, if you'll just wait in here, I please. don't know you if can hear everything right. To, to do doctor, it. don't worry about it. The reputation you, of doctor, my Doctor, trust me. 
Right this way. Thank you. Herr Doctor. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Doctor. May I help you? Well, yes. I, I'm Mrs. Carmichael, and I heard on the radio about your wonderful beauty discovery, and that for twenty-five dollars I could get a beauty checkup. Mm -hmm. Do you have an appointment? No. Do you have twenty-five dollars? Yes. <laughs> then you have an appointment. <laughs> Thank you. My assistant Hans will see you. Thank you. Please sit right here. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Sit down. Now. What is your problem? Well, I, I don't really have a problem. I just want you to make me look pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I must ask you how old you are. <laughs> Why? Well, I want to know how much time there is left. <laughs> Please, lady, don't shout. Now just sit back and relax. <laughs> Under classification D. Classification D? Disaster area. Now <laughs> oh, just sit back and relax. <laughs> you do that much more and out you go. Well, I'm sorry, I just don't. Now, Mrs. Let... Carmichael, if you don't bug my treatments, you but can. But I want it, out. I want it. Then you gotta ditch still. <laughs> now we try out some of our famous beauty creams made out of different foods and vitamins. Yes, mm. sir. Yes, sir. First, we will start with our Italian base. Yes, sir. Have you ever noticed how those Italian women have nice olive complexions? Uh, mm. uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what is it in their diet that gives them this complexion? Olive oil. <laughs> oh. No. Tomato paste and provolone cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Provolone cheese. Yes, hot. Huh? We shall start with the tomato paste. Hmm? We put a little dab on the side of the cheese. Just put it there. Now, hot. Hot with the cheese. Cheese. <laughs> themselves up. Do you feel anything? No, but I can smell the provolone. <laughs> and now, now we try our protein. Huh? Well, what's that? Tuna fish. Tuna fish? Mm, the oil does wonders for the skin. Mm. Oh. That's right. <laughs> 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 How's that? Well, at least I can't smell the provolone anymore. <laughs> and now, our most famous combination formula guaranteed to give every woman a peaches and cream complexion. Oh, what is it? Peaches and cream. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ah, first the peaches. Peaches. There we go. <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> now, hearts make bit the cream. The cream.
big idea! Stop! Stop, gentlemen! Stop! Now, there's nothing to get upset about, Dr. Fleischer. Dr. Fleischer? This joke has gone far enough. Joke? Yeah, sure, it was all a joke, you see. We were just... It was a joke! Yeah, it was a joke! What no, no, wait a minute. It was a joke, buddy. It was a joke, buddy. It was a joke, buddy. You found my what? Your boiling point. Mrs. Carmichael, you're on television. Look. And my what? Television. Oh, look at his face. Oh, for Oh, I must look a sight. Hello, Sam. Hello, Jerry, Chris, and Jerry. Oh. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, if you'll just sign this release. I had no idea. You'll receive a five-year supply of fly paper. Oh, thank you. I must look awful. I must say, Mrs. Carmichael, you've been a wonderful sport. Well, right, Pete? Oh, thank she you. was better than what we had last week. <laughs> 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 uh, Mrs. Carmichael, now I will give you a real beauty to rate oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry about all this. Oh, that's uh, all right. I rather enjoyed it, if you must it, know. Oh, uh, well, come on, I mean, Oh, Mr. Mooney. Good afternoon, Mrs. Carmichael. What a surprise. Good afternoon, Mr. Bagley. Well. Mrs. Carmichael, I got to thinking about your going to the doctor for a checkup, and, well, I became rather concerned, and you were uh, here. Oh, Mr. Mooney. Oh, thank you. Oh, and Candy. Well, now, there's no reason for concern. A lot of people go for checkups. Oh, I know, I know, but you're different. Yes. Well, I, I mean, I just never could think of you as being sick. Oh. Physically, that is. <laughs> oh, Viv, would you put these in water so they'll stay fresh? Yes, and I'll open the candy so it won't get stale. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> oh, won't you sit down, Mr. Mooney? Oh, thank you. Thank My you. goodness, I didn't realize that you could be so sentimental. Why, Mrs. Carmichael, just because I deal in cold cash doesn't mean that... I have a cold heart. Oh, well, of course not. Well, it's a wonderful thing to know that you're the kind of person who can understand how somebody else feels. <laughs> oh, my. I need to get back to the back. Oh, you have to leave yes. so soon? Goodbye, Mr. Carmichael. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Mooney. Goodbye, Mr. Bagley. Bye, Mr. Mooney. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael. Yes? I... I do hope you can forgive me for some of the unkind things I might have said to you in the past. Because when I thought of the possibility of you being ill, I was overcome with remorse. Oh. I realized I shouldn't blame a woman like you just because you don't know anything about finance and budgets and economy. <laughs> After all, you can't help being stupid. <laughs> You know, Viv, Mr. Mooney does have a good heart. I wonder how good his heart will be if he finds out that Dr. Fleischer's a beautician. Suppose he sees you on television. <gasps> Yipe! He can't see me on television. What am I going to do, Viv? Well, you're just going to have to keep him from showing the show, that's all. i got to go see that Mr. Patterson right away. Yeah, you go see him now, Lucy. Come on, you better hurry, too. Now, if he gives you any arguments, you stick up for your rights now. Tell him that you will sue him. Oh, I wouldn't want to do a thing like that. I want to be real nice, Viv. You know, you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. Who needs honey? We got a five-year supply of fly paper. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, but your show is scheduled to go on the air this Thursday. But, Mr. Patterson, I have very personal reasons for not wanting to be seen on television. Can't you understand? I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh. If there's nothing you can do about it, then I am going to get a lawyer. 
Lawyer? Oh, wait a minute. Remember this piece of paper? What's that? It's our signed agreement for your appearance on our television show. I signed that? <laughs> you sure did. Well, then I want it right uh, now. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, you signed this of your own free will. But, Mr. And I'm Patterson. Afraid there's nothing we can... Patterson, Excuse Mr. Patterson. Me? Yes. Say, we just ran a rough timing on Wednesday's show. Yeah, how did time out? Well, we're about a minute short. Does that include the last commercial? Including everything, we're still a minute short. Well, we'll just have to dream up some kind of a funny finish that runs about a minute. <laughs> okay, when do you want to get together? Yeah, how about tonight? My wife's out of town. Maybe we can go someplace for dinner, huh? Name it. Hey, how about that French restaurant, the uh, Can Can A Go Go? Yeah, where the waitresses are dressed like Can Can dancers? Uh, yeah, but I go there because the food is excellent. You sly dog. First day she leaves, you're going to start. Uh, Pete, I have someone in the office. I'll call you back. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, it's not the intention of our show to embarrass anyone, but you did sign an agreement. Mr. Patterson, really, can't you believe me? Mrs. I Carmichael, I don't have time to argue with you. I've got to get this to the film editor. Oh... Are you still here, Mrs. Carmichael? Well, I, I, for, I was looking for my gloves. Oh, don't forget to watch the program. I like to hear from you after the show. Oh, well, you may hear from me before the show. Hey, Pete, remember that Mrs. Carmichael? You mean the kooky redhead in the beauty shop? Yeah, I just got some more film on her, stealing back her agreements. <laughs> what? Yeah. Why, that's the sneakiest thing I ever heard of. How dare you do no, a thing like that? You bought what, what again? Your boiling point. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good work, fellas. <laughs> well, you may think you have the last laugh, but you cannot put me on that program without my written permission, and I have that. Mm -hmm. And our legal department has 12 photostatic copies. Oh, oh we got it again. His wife had that baby, right? Yeah. Boy or girl? Oh, it was a boy. <laughs> hey, that's great. <laughs> Here. Uh. The Joe's boy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh go ahead. We're <laughs> imported. 50 bucks a box. <laughs> I always say there's, there's nothing like a good cigar, huh? <laughs> Especially a good cigar like this. It makes you feel so relaxed, you know? Mm. So content. So masculine. <laughs> you know, cigar smoking is about the only thing that women haven't taken up yet. <laughs> but give them enough time, they'll probably catch on to that. <laughs> you a uh, regular cigar smoker? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Uh -huh. Well, I guess you guys can afford it, huh? You make pretty good money. But you earn it. <laughs> I wouldn't hang out that window for a million dollars. Bonjour, monsieur, bonjour. Bonjour. You know, Mr. Patterson, you're even more handsome, more handsome in person than you are on television. Well, uh, thanks a lot. 
Well, uh, would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, c'est magnifique. you took of me. We can't. Well, why not? Because there's no film in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no film? You, you mean you didn't take a picture of me? Of course not. That wouldn't be nice. 